I cut all the squares. So it's going to be five by seven. So it took 35 squares. And how you begin is I made, I made a 13 inch square. So every size would be different. I've got the papers for uh, the smaller sizes. But this is larger and um, the numbers um, don't match the instructions. Well, the green, the width, I'm sorry. Three inches, uh, or three and a half. No. Uh, it doesn't matter as long as they're all identical. I think this is three. Um, so I started with a 13 inch, 13 inch square. And then I'll do that. Wash it first. We're having a class. But anyways. 13 inch square, which comes out to an 18 and a half inch strip, which each of you can have. Then you take the, uh, the strip and you fold it in half, you press it to find your center, because it's important that you place it on the center, because this is going to match up with another one to make a design. So it's important that it be in the center. So I place them all in the center and their pins for everybody to take. And then you see just like the strip, as long as it's longer than the, the edge. And any width from one to three. No lit, no smaller than one, it becomes too ridiculous. And no larger than three because it gets the most strange. You start in the center, put your right sides together. So, and press. Iron? Press. Press, yeah, press them out because that's what makes the, the background shrink if those aren't pressed from the front because otherwise I you're pressed. So I don't press. I finger press. I just, mm -hmm. you know, as you go along. Because it goes so much more, so much faster. They need to be pressed out Right, because otherwise they shrink. Then you've well, got the person, all different yeah, sizes of them. First. Yeah. All right, so then you just continue. Right sides together and flip. Another strip, right sides together and flip. So you put four on each side, is what you're saying? No, you can no, do as many as you want. You put as many as you want, as many as fits. Those don't have to line up the green lines up. No, right. yeah, yeah. So that's the thing that keeps it consistent. Yes. Any with any length, and it has to overhang on the edges. And then I'm going to square them up to 12 and a half. Mm -hmm. Then when you sew them together, it matches the center's match. Mm -hmm. Your hands so when you get two more, then the it doesn't look so scrappy. Mm -hmm. so you know, when we get to the edges, we're using pieces that are very small. So when you're doing your strips, I cut these so they wouldn't be so ragged. But um, when you know you start with a really long strip, so you cut it to where, it, and then you can use those smaller pieces on your ends. So that's, that's the whole thing.